Charleston. So he, Jason's been around. He's a really good coach, and I think he's, he'll be excited to coach his team tonight. And Georgia winning the tip, and these Georgia uniforms taking us back to Mark Slonica running the point for the great Hugh Durham. I love the throwback. Yes, sir. And the 1990 championship, SEC championship team over season. Wearing these unis right here. And Western Carolina in the purple. 12 to shoot for Georgia is Aaron Cook with the triple drive. Jackson Enter getting the start for the Bulldogs here this evening. Only five to shoot. Cook from way downtown. And there's a good start for the dog. And that's a great start. They're a little discombobulated there. Really get going. And Western Carolina talking about Robinson and over half of their shots from three. That drive won't go for Bacterius Woolbright, who is a native of Albany, Georgia. Well, Benny's in the house. Always love the players from Albany, Georgia. So many great players. Here's Bridges underneath with a two-hand slam. Uh, Bridges, one of the nation's leading shooters, double figures in seven of ten games, plus two with nine. And here's the aforementioned Robinson. That one won't go. Petrakis tips the rebound, and it's controlled by Tyler Harris. So the fresh 20 for the Catamount from Cullowee. Petrakis from distance, and the transfer from Kansas State puts the Catamounts on the board. Yeah, well, Jeff, we're going to get many shot clock violations tonight. <laughs> this game is going to be fast paced, up tempo, a lot of threes, which lead, may lead to a lot of offensive rebounds. Cook with the start in, back for Edder. Yeah, these are some classic beauties here. Nice move by Bridges, finishes strong. He is, I don't know what the percentage is, if it's 60-40, 55-45, but he is as close to true ambidextrous down low as you'll find with a post player. He really is, and good to see him drive from that elbow area. Another element he can add to his game. Good help defense there from Bauman. Okendo in the open floor, that's his game, Edder with a fake. Edder's been playing very well. Quindo with the drive, finds the opening, draws a foul, and a couple of free throws on the way. This will be on Woolbright, the Albany Davis. We talked the other night in the George Mason game. Jeff, you know, Quindo just never really got going. Never really got an open floor. He's got he's kind of that player. He's got to make some offense from his defense. But right there, again, he can come out with a little more bounce in the step. Look for him to really push the transition today. Well, I think Slon just hit on something, too, with the long threes. As Oquindo hits the first free throw, you have longer rebounds. That gets Georgia potentially, if they defend the three well, the opportunity to get Oquindo out running in transition. Absolutely. Coach Green's been preaching that box out. That's been a little flaw, a little weakness in their defense so far this season. So, again, right there, all five guys, hands in lanes, getting those deflections, getting those defensive boards. But you're right. I'll get Oquindo going early tonight. Great stroke hand through the hoop. Yeah, he's been a struggle from the free throw line this year. It's good to see him start off with two in a row made. Let's say put the hand in the cookie jar. The, the cookie three, right? jar and the ball through. Bako transfer from Indiana State. Dribbles in, steps out for a three ball, and can't quite get the roll. Edder hustling for his second rebound. And Edder has nine boards over Georgia's last two games. Also scored 17 points. Great behind the back move. Cook loses control, but then is able to get it back. And Edder will step to the line. I believe they get Robinson for this one. A pair of catamounts were there. Edder will go to the line. Georgia shaking things up a little bit. Christian Wright, a freshman, had been starting. Struggled just one for seven last time out as Georgia fell to George Mason two nights ago on Saturday evening. So the veteran Edder able to step in and over his last two games as the foul shots off to the right, no good. Edder has been shooting it well, six out of nine from the field with 17 points and eight rebounds combined. He's always going to bring you effort, hustle, high basketball IQ. Again, he's going to take the challenge tonight, Gordon Robinson, leading scorer for Western Carolina. Strokes in the second one. Now, early in the game, four different Bulldogs have scored. And Georgia has the lead. It is 10 to 3. Western Carolina with Robinson back again. The jump stop, good defense. In the corner, Travion McCray off the bench. Robinson, good pass. Petrakis right corner three. That one rattles out, no good. Long rebound, tipped out to the Catamounts. Baco fakes the three. Harris with the tray from the left corner, no good. And the long rebound, again controlled by Western Carolina. Petrakis 
Maybe a fifth time's the charm. Trey, good. Finally, Harris and Tom Creese say, guys, we got to rebound defensively. They were loyal. Marymount started the, the system of shooting all those threes. This is one of the things that, that Coach Westhead said. You get a lot of offensive rebounds out of it and a lot of stickbacks and kick outs for more threes. Oquindo, a little bit strong. Great board by Bridges. The block, but a foul. And they will get number one, McCray, with a foul. And Travion McCray, terrific coming off the bench. A 6 one junior out of Timmonsville, South Carolina. He's a microwave Johnson for these guys. Averages 10.4. Scored 21 early in the year against Wake Forest. Yeah, he's, he's going to put them up. Again, all the whole team's got the green light, right? You can see already in this game, we haven't played very long. They've already put up seven three-pointers here in uh, three and a half minutes. This one rolls off. Bridges averages 12.7 points per game. Double figures in seven of Georgia's ten, plus two games with nine. He's off to a good start as a Bulldog. Transfer from the University of Illinois at Chicago, but an Atlanta native. They missed them both. Harris with the rebound. And on those toes we talked about with him. He's got to elevate, get that arc on the shot. He did not raise, get the heels off the ground, get on his toes on the follow through. 10-6, Georgia. 2-3 two, zone, or a little 1-2-2 two, two sometime, maybe 1-2-2 two, two zone here. Georgia doesn't have a ton of size. Trying to make up for it with the athleticism. Ty Harris, Robinson with a nice head fake, and the kick to McCray, and an offensive foul. And her drop. Going to get a blow for Braylon Bridges, Tyron McMillan, who averages just under two points, two boards per game in. A little 1-3-1. One, one. Trying to switch up the looks. Window with the drive, back cut for Edder, tipped away and stolen. Harris back the other way. Pull up three for Baco off target. Oquindo on the run. This could be Oquindo's type of game tonight. He's stripped, and it'll be Bulldogs ball. So slide, Christian Wright, the freshman, has been doing a lot of good things for Georgia. Struggled two nights ago against George Mason. Do you like the call, just putting him back on the bench and getting Edder the start tonight? I do. I think one, Edder's a better matchup for Robinson. It would have been a tough matchup if Wright had to get on him. So Edder's physically and desire, experience to take him on. But again, it eases Wright's burden a little bit, right? It just makes him feel better. Um, come on the bench, size the game up. Knows he's going to play. Knows he's going to get in there. Deep three from Cook. No good. Right, he's got some hops. Nice lead pass. Kick into the corner. That one's no good for Marcus Banks. Woolbright back to Banks for a second tray. Short. That is, we have 10 three point attempts now. A Quinto with a chance to throw it down. Two for 10 from three. <laughs> for not going to slow him down. A great job getting the play. We talked about Quinto getting out in the open court. Bauman just had to get the handles out there, knew he's out there, just get the lead pass to him. What a dunk. He just got a note. Woolbright with the drive, lowered the shoulder. That's going to be offensive. Slot hit on this early. That's Woolbright's second, so that's two starts with two fouls each. Let's take a look at Oquindo. Pow! He got the hops, he can rise, but look for more of that tonight with the tempo of this game, the pace of this game. Look for him to get many opportunities tonight. Brought it back from behind the shoulder. Not quite the full Clyde Drexler tomahawk, but mighty nice. We'll take it. I just got a note here from Vegas, over under on shot clock violations, a half tonight. <laughs> I think we're going under. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Slide hit that mighty early. Oquindo steps in. Nice pass to Cook. Good defense there, sliding over Baco. There's Bauman, his pull-up won't go. Rebound is tipped out, controlled by the Catamounts. Marvin Price into the lineup, a 6 one junior out of Baltimore. Catamounts, number 24, Marcus Banks. Holding down on that left wing, tries to split the defenders. They love to drive and kick. Price in the lane around the iron, no good. Georgia with a 12-6 lead. Shot's not dropping yet, but Western Carolina hanging around. Feels like the Georgia lead is more than six. Edder in deep. That's excellent defense by Baycoat. Now Cook will drive. He gets cut off, but the defender, McCray, 
made a cardinal sin there, Coach. Yes, he did. You want to leave your feet, man, inside. But Cook, really nice job. Look, again, patience down there. Good head fake. McCray, three. Yes. Again, Jeff, just like you said, only made three field goals. They're all threes, and so they're close, right? They're not out of it. Georgia keeps making twos, and boy, just if you catch up in a hurry, she knows threes. West Carolina has four players that have more than 27 assists, and all four of those players have positive assist turnover ratios. They are kicking to their teammates. And they're, threes. they're also top 10 in the country in rebounding, and a bunch of those on the offensive end. 14 9, Georgia by five. McCray again. No go. McMillan up high for the board. Bauman for three. No go. He said, if it's a three fast, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> He's feeling it too. Let's see. Western is three for 12, and Georgia one for four from distance. West Carolina only two shots inside the three point line so far. And zone again for Georgia. And it's always a good strategy to zone a, a three point shooting team. You wouldn't think so. Again, the matchups are a little easier to get a little less movement from them than they would have against a man. Cook with a dribble drive. And McMillan underneath has it stripped away. Excellent defensive play, Marcus Banks. Georgia back defensively. So near the 12 minute mark. Bayco, Price, no go. Bayco, the drive. I think Cook might have gotten a piece of that. He did. Good job. Enter. Etowah High School. Under 12 to play in this first half and widely entertained up and down the floor. Firing threes. Enter with the fade for the foul line. Got it. Again, great dish by Cook. It's one of the leading assist guys in the country. I think he's number six in the country now. There's a reason why. Great penetration. Eyes up. Seeing where the people are. Drew the second defender. They better have a nice chance to get an easy shot in the paint. Georgia, by the way, with four subs up. And we have our next stoppage at play. We'll go to a timeout. Drive and the kick. Pretty good defense there from Bauman. Bayco under 10 to shoot. Right corner, Harris three. That just nicks the iron. Bauman with a rebound. Enter the trailer. Thought he might want the three. Bauman will take it and miss this one. And the Army side we hit on this shit baseball, football, basketball sometimes. You don't peek at the scoreboard. It feels like one team's winning by a lot more than they are. It seems like Georgia's up 10, 12, 14 points. Western Carolina only down seven here. Yep, get a stop. And right, right back in with another bomb. Dalen Riginal off the bench. Good. Dalen Riginal Georgia. There's a quick drive inside by McCray. So George hits a three and Western Carolina gets the two. <laughs> We're flipping a little bit. Original is really coming on. His minutes are going to increase. He's gotten healthy too. Coach Green really believes in him. And most of junior college guys really don't hit their stride till late December, January, making that adjustment to Division I basketball. Christian right off target and back into the game. Nick Robinson with the board. Good call slot. Had to bring him back at some point here in the half. Robinson sets a feet for three. No good. Two strong bridges. Ports for the Bulldogs. Jackson enter. Going to drive in. Good spin move. Back iron. No good against McCray. And the rebound will go out of bounds to Western Carolina. Look for Western Carolina's zone here. A couple of possessions. Maybe limit Bridges' touches, but also to protect Robinson. Defensively, they don't want to put him in a situation where he's in a man. You see Reginald hitting the three. Jabri Abdur Rahim into the lineup for Georgia. Got off to a slow start, but over his last four games, averaging nearly 14 points per. He's going to keep coming on freshman. And you can tell he works hard. He's really coachable. Wants to be a good player. Pass a little bit behind Robinson, who drives in against Reginald. The kick out. Baycoat three ball. In and out. No good. Bridges boards for Georgia again. Bridges doing some work on the backboard. Door Raheem. Bridges as the Bulldogs fake the back cut. 16 to shoot. This seems like a long possession. Day. I know it. We haven't <laughs> seen this. Getting down under 10 on the shot clock. West Carolina went man on misses. They're going to zone on makes. Right with only five to shoot. Bridges backs it out. Original from Oconee County knocks it down.
Right back come the Catamounts. Price is stripped and fouled. Two free throws coming for Western Carolina. Great pass by Bridges. Had the double team. Shot clock running down. <laughs> Looks like Chris found the open man. And original man, really, so far this season, he's only himself only taking two shots in the three-point line in his limited minutes this season. So he's going to put him up there himself. Yeah, that's big there for original coming into the game. It scored only 11 points as Price's first one is too strong. But that was a blow there for Western Carolina. They had a very good defensive stand. Shot clock is winding down, and you think, well, we're going to get the ball down eight. Instead, you're down 11. And Western Carolina, they've got to get some of these threes to start to drop, or Georgia can stretch it out. Well, it's just going to be a game of runs, but you know they're going to stay cold all night. So you expect them to make three in a row at some point in time, four out of five somewhere in time, to cut into that lead that Georgia's built up so far. Braylon Bridges doing some work on the backboard now. Four boards, three on the defensive end here in the last two minutes. Original finds Abdur Rahim. That's a little bit too strong. Robinson with a rebound. Western Carolina with a second crack to get it back to single digits. Baycoat with the drive. Price in the corner. Price guarded by Abdur Rahim. 19 to shoot. Price draws the foul and scores. Strong move by the junior from Baltimore. Oh, he has some nice spin on that. You don't see that spin a little bit. I don't know if it was on purpose or by accident. They drew the contact. Again, great drive. Oh, boy, he's got a strong body. Dorahim, Dorahim was definitely expecting a three-point shot to go up. He was able to get that extension, explode out of the triple threat position, and get in the paint. Price right back to the line where he just missed two, and the southpaw is now 0 for 3. Original with the rebound. Aaron Cook, Abdur Rahim, the trailer. The floater goes, and you can just see Abdur Rahim's confidence. It's growing game by game. Absolutely. Coach Green has stayed with him, built up his confidence, you know, coached him through that tough stretch on his field goal percentage. So, again, good drive by him. And he's looking to score. He's hunting baskets in the right way. Baycoat. The big man knocks it down again. Joe Patrakis with his second three. Here's Abdur Rahim right back for Georgia. The reverse layup goes. Loving this game. <laughs> Up and down the floor we go. 26-16 Georgia. Well, the track is a 37% three-point shooter. Yeah, he's going to drag Bridges away from the bucket roll. They missed Robinson inside. He was wide open. A little bit of an easy dunk. Baco shoots the three, and this will go out of bounds to you get some high percentage shots. And Reginald giving the Bulldogs a lift with those two threes off the bench. So a good inside-out combo going for Georgia right now. Aaron Cook got the dogs started. There's Bauman flashing to the high post. In and out. Harris with the rebound. Well, this is a small Georgia lineup. There's basically all perimeter players on the floor. Baycoat guarded by Wright, the freshman. Robinson's three. It's good. He is some kind of player. Nick Robinson, first point. Native of Chicago. Western Carolina within seven. You don't want him to get going. But the thing with Georgia can play that small lineup. Oh, good job by Edder. Great answer. Edder's basket's good. Yeah, Jackson Edder, he's always going to make that basket cut. Good job, draws the contact, and able to finish inside. It's a big man from Western Carolina. Like the patience underneath, little hesitation. I was going to say a minute ago, Georgia can play this small lineup tonight against Western Carolina, but they're going to shoot that many threes. You just switch everything, right? It's all matchups. They're not going to, the track is not going to post you up very often. So good, take your chances, guard the perimeter, drive them off the three-point line, try to make them one-dimensional and do something they don't like to do normally. They drive to the basket or shoot two feet further out. Just get them off that three-point line and you can do this with a small lineup. The slide hit that great stat with the variety of assist makers that they have. They do a great job moving it around the perimeter. Boy, Robinson, that's a veteran play. <laughs> Absolutely. One thing in my notes coming in was Georgia has to be good in closeouts. When you see this amount of threes being taken against you, you have to be so disciplined in your closeouts. Choppy feet, hand up, and don't overcommit to the first fake because they're going to fake you out there. And Edder fell for the first fake. So Robinson will shoot three. Robinson on the season, 73.3%. Nice 
Nice stroke. You know, he shoots about three a game, Jeff. Yeah. These two you know three pointers. That shouldn't a lot, but again, a very good stroke. Well, they might all be on plays like that. That's right. Again, I, I know I'm repeating myself here, but Western Carolina's hanging around. It feels like Georgia's lead is a good bit more. That's right, absolutely. The amount of field goals is different, right? So the, the coaches that commit to this style of play, like Western Carolina and Coach Gray have done, you know, this is what the benefit of it, right? You get a hot, you just, you know, no, no lead against you. If someone goes up 15 on you, you don't panic. You feel you chop, chop that down really quick. Same thing if you got a lead of seven or eight points, you know that can evaporate in a hurry too if you go cold. So it's a fun way to play. Guys like playing that style. Got to be patient though, right, Coach? That's right. Cook with the penetration. The whole risk, the risk reward system, right? And taking a high risk, taking shooting that many, but can really reward it well with it. Here's Cook with the drive out for Bauman. Georgia moving it nicely. The freshman right, too strong. Bridges loses it out of bounds. And one thing that it could do as well, and I remember when Loyola Marymount came around and they upset defending national champion Michigan in the NCAA tournament that beat UCLA, one of Coach Eric's great teams. A year after they had won the NCAA tournament, they could lure you into doing a style of play that you're not comfortable with. Absolutely. You're going all. You're going all night long trying to, you know, close out, these long threes, all that. It's, it's a different style than they run, right? The wings have got to get out and run the floor. And it's critical to the five man, the center runs the floor hard all night. And you're on guarding that, you're on defense, you're just constantly running, sprinting, hands up, defending, boxing out. It wears you down. Cook for right, tries to kick it out and the steal off the deflection by Tyler Harris. Western Carolina down seven. McCray with a drive. Nice spin move by the Albany native Woolbright, and the stick back will go. And Western Carolina's cut Georgia's lead down to five points. Right Bridges, and this is going to be a foul. Good drive to the basket. Thought he might have gotten fouled, didn't get it, but on the weak side, ready to get that stick back. Offensive rebound, we talked about it. It's been a little low. West Carolina on the offensive glass, but they were in position to get one there. Marlo Gilmore averages under three a game, 2.8, but five and a half rebounds a contest. Doing a good job there on the weak side. That's a good rebounder that the Catamounts can bring off the bench. Junior from Norway, South Carolina. Braylon Bridges back to the line. Dogs struggling from the charity stripe tonight. Three for seven. Make it three for eight. Yeah, Bridges just flat put it again. Just knocking those heels off the ground like he did the other night. And he's really been working hard at the line yeah. and getting on those tiptoes to get the arc up there. Absolutely. Here comes some pressure from Georgia. Uh, Western Carolina with Gilmore and Banks on the floor. It's taking me back to the 1982 San Antonio Spurs. Gene Banks playing the yeah. road with Artis Gilmore, the eighth grade. Loose ball, Oquindo. Great Quinto. names in basketball right there. Really? Yes, sir. With the great Iceman, George Ooh. Gervin. Little stutter step. Nice kick. Robinson starts in. Woolbright going to have to hurry. Shot clock at one. In and out. We almost had a shot clock violation. Twice we've come close to it. <laughs> we didn't think we'd be anywhere near it. No, sir. Oquindo with a long three. No good. Banks to the boards. Under four and a half to go. Western Carolina with the ball down five. Banks with the drive in traffic. High floater, no good. Very good post defense from Georgia. Oquindo clears the rebound. Cook drives in against Harris. Now backs it around. Going for Bridges. The pass a little too tall, but the old push in the back. And I believe Gilmore just said, what did that do? Yeah, that was a great decision there by Georgia. Get the ball on the bridge. Give him a touch down here. He had his man on his defender on his backside. He's so efficient down there when you get him in that or one-on-one -on -one situation. Which Carolina's been running two guys at him all night. You know, so he, he's fluid with those post moves too. And his ability to go either way and shoot with either hand. Absolutely. He's so dangerous. You know, I'm always thinking about how we'll prepare a scouting report against him. And he's a good passer too. So again, people choose to double team him. West Carolina's doing it tonight. They don't. He can beat you either way in the post. Good stroke there. So Bridges now with five. Let's watch those heels. Let's see if he gets those heels up off the ground, up on those tippy toes. There you go. Got to tuck it in. Got to tuck it in. 
He needs a double XLT, <laughs> Mikey. Come on, Mikey, get him that longer shirt. The Bridges trying to put Georgia up by seven. Yeah, much better extension. Arkham. So Western Carolina has never beaten Georgia, but it was a great game between these two back in November of 2003, and the great Kelvin Martin hung 44 on the dogs. What a player. <laughs> he oh, really go. Tremendous NBA career. And nice finish underneath by Gilmore. And he's probably number nine on the scouting report for you, but Absolutely. here's Gilmore with four points and a couple of boards. He's playing a good role. Again, he likes to rebound and do whatever he takes to help his team win. Here's McCray. Oh, with the C's part, it's down. They've been playing that zone to protect him on the backside. We'll see what they flood and finish here, but look for him maybe not to play the last minute except for offense. 1-1-2-1. One, one, one. Some token pressure. Georgia with the ball up three. Abdur Rahim to Bauman. Back to Abdur Rahim. He's got a really good stroke. Window trying to get it inside to McMillan. Bridges is on the bench. Abdur Rahim from distance. I don't think he has shown as a freshman, I mean a sophomore here at Georgia, he can bob from deep. He's not afraid to take it too. Feet underneath him, good look, patient. Great finish by Doreen. He and original each with an extremely deep three. That's the difference right now as Georgia's up by six. Wolbright into the corner. Good fake from Harris. Sets the feet short though. Wolbright with the rebound and the Albany native. Kisses it home. Yeah, really good play by Wilbur. I watched him the whole possession. He's supposed to get back on defense when the three goes up. He went right to the offense glass. He thought it was going to be short to carry the opportunity there. Quindo's got to be more disciplined on his closeouts. Second, third time, he's gone for the first pump fake. Inside to McMillan. Battles in against Gilmore. And an excellent block underneath. Number 23, Marlowe Gilmore. He's Big a, lift. A really good game for him. Great lift for the Catamounts. Wolbright with the drive. Underneath for Gilmore, 18 to shoot. Robinson step back three off target. Bauman able to save the rebound. Yeah, talking about getting back from when we were growing up, we're old dinosaurs. Follow your shot, follow your shot. It's not always the case now. You gotta get back. <laughs> you definitely sending people back. Nice cut underneath for Oquindo, but the pass a little bit behind him, and Robinson with the steal. Yeah, he's gonna be careful on the charge here. Great defensive presence, though. Robinson, one of the Top defenders in the SoCon, and there's Vontarius Woolbright starting to get going. Probably some nerves there, being from Albany, back in the home state. Yeah, absolutely. He has cut it down to two. It's 33-31. Georgia has all season long been susceptible to dribble drives. They don't really have a rim protector back there to give a safety net to the, the perimeter players. West Carolina has really gotten back in this game on just on those dribble drives into the hole. Quindo can't finish. And Gilmore can't grab the rebound. Now Flurry will go to Georgia. And Western Carolina, they were holding their breath with Robinson. He was exposed there defensively. He's around it right there. Let's take a look at Wilbright's bucket here. Nice spin, Slime. Great spin move. A lot of times you see those guards use the glass there, but he was able to switch it right through. And it's looking for him to be a little more aggressive as the game goes on, especially now that he sees. He sat there on the bench a little while and saw his teammates getting to the rim. He's come right back in off the bench. Say, hey, I can attack this thing and get there. Georgia flattens out into a 1-4. Third crack at it this possession. The freshman Christian Wright. Excellent upside. Original for a three. This one short in Western Carolina controls. Catamounts can tie it with a two or take their first lead with a three. We play, the one-minute mark. Yeah, place to get Robinson out. Just about to be called, Jeff. We thought he got about the one-minute mark. Might see him one more time for offense. Last shot of the half. Long distance three, McCray, no good. Harris rips down the offensive board. A second chance. Petrakis, it won't go. Georgia dodges a bullet. Now the dogs with numbers. Right to the trailer. Abdur Rahim pulls up short, no good. But there's Reginald with a stick back. Eight off the bench. You see the dogs a little more aggressive with the offensive glass. Last couple of possessions. And West. I love it, love it. Inbounds comes to Woolbright. Coach Justin Gray building a terrific program at Colloyer. He was a great player at Wake Forest. Oh, man, he was so good. Some great teams back then. 11-second differential, game clock, shot clock. There's Price with the fake of the drive and the finish against Bridges. Marvin Price with his second basket. Now, Robinson's got to be careful here. He's got a chance to get him out of the game. 
He's deep in the last defense. He's got to be very careful. Georgia with a 35-33 lead. Five seconds to go in the half. Abdur Rahim. Another long three try. This one short. And we will hit. Since you're Georgia, Coach Green. See if Georgia's going to you know, mix that zone and man-to-man. -man. Looks like they're going to start the zone. Like switching up the looks. Takes a second to get the recognition. Petrakis getting it out to Harris. And there's Robinson. Drive from the Peach State native. The foul and the shot won't go. And Woolbright will step to the line. This will be on Oquindo. So Bontarius Woolbright to the stripe with a chance to tie this game. Bulldogs lead 35-33. So a 17-9 run for Western Carolina to close the first half. And they, you know, they breathe this big side of relief at halftime. They got Robinson through the half mm -hmm. with only two fouls. He had two right away in the game. Tom Crane just yelling at his team to box out, but that was well played by Coach Jason G. Oh, would he missed them both. And Harris gets the rebound over the back, though. A violation on the Western Carolina junior out of Charlotte. Well, neither team. Uh, putting on an exhibition at the foul line. Western Carolina is 2 of 8. Georgia is 5 of 10. You know what Rick Barry would say? <laughs> Got to go underhand. Oh, yeah. Quindo. Bridges. In traffic. Petrakis with the block. Harris with the save. Western Carolina on the run. Baycoat with the drive. Offensive. And there you go. That's a third charge that Edder's drawn tonight. Yeah, again, if you're playing Georgia, you scouted him, you know, he's, he seeks the third, taking charges. A lot of players will take a charge, but he's one of the guys that just seeks it. So a couple of chances for Western Carolina to tie, and the Catamounts come up empty. Aaron Cook, top 10 in the NCAA in assist, finds Bauman for three. It's good. Bauman had some good looks in the first half. Cook really set him up nicely right there. Bauman gets going in this game. Could really break it open for Georgia. Nice move by Woolbright to get inside. The kiss. The square is your friend. Woolbright with six. Bauman into the corner. Enter for three. Rattles out. And a whistle and a foul. If this is on Robinson, that's his third. That's what Aaron Cook does so well. Gets that deep penetration, draws two or three defenders to himself, and finds you. He always has his head up, eyes up, which you want your point guards to do. And Bauman just needs to get that first one in. That can lead to three or four more here the rest of the game. And that foul was on Harris, his second, as Aquindo hits the free throw. So he's got five. Great ascent in basketball, not rebounding defensively. And second chance points for Georgia. Oquindo stroke pure tonight. Four for four for Looks the line. Looks great. He is stroke from the free throw line again. He has a good stroke. You know, he wasn't wide. Probably more mental than anything. Robinson. Good defense from Edder, but Robinson with a kiss off the square. He's got a little more size than Edder. Edder was going to fight him all the time. He's such a fierce defender, but Robinson took advantage of it. Patient. Yeah, look at the nice shot off. Here's a double team on Bridges. Somebody's open. Edder with the drive against Robinson. Petrakis with the block. Western Carolina with numbers. Baycoat to the trailer. And Harris misses underneath. A missed opportunity for the Catamounts. Georgia dodges a bullet. And the Bulldogs come back the other way. Still up by three. And Bridges puts Georgia up five. And Slon, that's a four-point swing. It really is. Oh, when you're coaching, that is so difficult. A high percentage shot down there. Just couldn't get the finish. But Aaron Cook, smart, savvy, gets the ball right into Bridges. A high percentage shot. Woolbright attacking with these Catamounts, not backing down. Now, Woolbright, they, obviously, they picked up the, the Catamount coaching staff said, hey, you can drive Bauman, Cook. These are guys that you can take to the hole. And he's doing it in 10. They got a little clear out action for him right there. Cook for the step back three. This one's short. Petrakis to the boards. Well, Petrakis, a guy transferred from Kansas State. He's just going to get better and better. Robinson into the corner. Baycoat in the lane. Harris with the head fake. Left wing, Woolbright. Shot clock at 12. Baycoat for three and the tie off target. All backboard. 
Cook back the other way for the Bulldogs. Nice feed underneath. Edder with the reverse layup. Uh, great job by Cooper. He's over, uh, overcommit for a second and charge, but he got balanced. Again, eyes are always up by him. Edder's always cutting on to the basket. Good combination there. Robinson splits the defenders, and that'll be a goaltending. That was a nice move. You can really see Robinson. He's a smooth player, also very strong. He really is. Boy, he's got a great body on him. He's got to be careful. Let her, you know, guarding him. Let going to be looking for any drop of a shoulder, anything he can draw a charge on him in the air. But again, patient that time. Good drive to the basket. Chuck Jones, one of the top officials in college basketball. Might have been a second delayed on that goal to the goal, but he got it right. Great crew here tonight with Chuck Jones, John Hampton, Keith Gimble. Uh, great crew right here, really outstanding officials, all three of them. Well, one of the things, that, and Slot can make mention of this, is we're so fortunate to be able to broadcast these games, but no secrets anymore when it comes to film and tape. Every game's on. Yes, sir. Quindo inside the arc. Bauman for three. No good. And Western Carolina gets the rebound with Robinson. Uh, Look good coming off his hand. I thought he was going to get that little streak going there. The tie, yes! Petrakis rattles it in, and it's 44-44. Well, he's had a good game. He really extends the defense. Here's Edder to put Georgia back in front. No good. Robinson on the boards. Robinson on the left wing. A strong drive, and the call on the floor. Edder, Edder went in there, that reach. Got the shoulder into him. Got the foul right there. That's his third. George has only got five fouls in the game. Edder's got three of them. Original in and Bauman out. It is 44-44. Again, Robinson's presence is enormous. Oh, that's going to be a steal. Cook from the backside lays it up good. That was a great read by Cook. Scouting report, that 1-4 flat baseline out of bounds is really popular in college basketball. He usually leaves, and Cook read it, got the interception. Robinson loses a handle, but is able to get it back. McCray working the left side over to Banks. Now McCray will drive, loses a handle. Good head fake from Harris, 12 to shoot. McCray left corner three. That's an air ball long, original with a rebound. Window. The high flyer, a double. Oh, man, he looks like a, a tailback out there. Yeah, he's, absolutely. He's got the SEC body for sure. Yeah, he's a guy that does draw fouls. Can get to the basket. Good to see him in all his free throws tonight. Hey, he, uh, you just wonder, in practice, have you seen it? Maybe he just saw something, felt something? Yeah. I, to me, it's just confidence. Again, he's got a good stroke, good shot. Even his, when his misses, when he's missing early in the season, I mean, he the is, shots look good. It just moves a little long, a little short. I, mean, I don't think else. he's hit the iron tonight That's on his right. six free throws. That's Almost right. Dead center. We just had that graphic up there. West Carolina's only taking three threes here in the first five minutes of the half. Again, trying to get to the basket, trying to drive. Here's the three, though. Banks. No go. And there's the high riser. Super carryo. Wants to drive on Robinson. Got out of control on that one. And Western Carolina back the other way. Trying to find something in the secondary transition. Harris back to Banks. Robinson will set up on the left side. Checked by Oquindo. McCray finds the team's leading score. And he's long with that one. Original with the Georgia rebound. Quindo got away with one there. He had his hands up, didn't close out. Robinson was wide open. Just, man, just rare for him to shoot an air ball. Cook, nice diagonal feed. Oquindo, no go. There's Riginal again. The foul, and it won't go in. And this one will be on Gilmore. It's good to see Riginal taking advantage of his minutes. Original having his best game as a Bulldog. He was a junior college standout. Original's previous career best. Oh, six points last time out against George Mason. And he is adding to his tally. Original. He earned that rebound, Jeff. He just yeah, he he fought for it. He was boxed out. He just fought hard, stayed with it. Original had only scored in two games prior to the George Mason contest. He had six points and seven rebounds, and now Original with 10 points and five rebounds. 
So perhaps, as we said earlier, his coming out party. And Georgia on a 6-0 run. It's not it was that Cook steal. It really was kind of ignited in there. North Carolina got back in it. They go back to the zone, trying to take Wolbright's drives away, but he still finds a way to get that zone to get in there. He is something on these drives. This might be one of those, even if Western Carolina doesn't win, they might have found something with Wolbright and the penetration of Doreen answers. He sure does. What a strong move. Drew a lot of contact right there. Robinson for three, short of the leading score for Western Carolina. Can't find the mark, but a hustle rebound, and Wolbright will finish. And that's what you love out of a great player. Shot doesn't go down, but the deflection. Stays right with it, boy. Four Georgia guys were uh, taking off for the fast break. They were smelling blood, that little run they were on, but they got caught breaking out too soon. A high pass over to Christian Wright in the left corner. Original has been the man of the hour for the Bulldogs here tonight. Cook, the lob for McMillan, tipped away. Great job, backside defense by number 23, Marlo Gilmore. Penetration for Banks, and there's the easy finish. Hey, you eat your vegetables, you get your candy. Yes, sir. Gilmore with a great defense, and then he finishes on the other end. And bad closeout by Georgia. Original just bad closeout, got overrun right there. Deep penetration, easy layup. You gotta be disciplined in your closeouts because it's a three-point shooting team. Georgia lead down to two. Cook with nine to shoot. Down the baseline, cut off. Original for three. This one's short. And now a two will tie it. Robinson, great work on the boards for the Catamounts. Terrific hustle by Woolbright. He passes up the two for the three, and it's no good. The Campbell doesn't pay off for Western Carolina's Banks misses. Georgia back the other way. The tip won't go. A flurry, and the loose ball will go the Bulldogs' way. Looked like a pretty high percentage shot to tie it. Oh, they had it. They couldn't quite get it inside, and then he's a little far underneath. Kicked that for the three. That bench at Western Carolina was ready to explode. <laughs> this oh. is a terrific game here tonight. And by the way, Cullowee, North Carolina, is just two hours, 15 minutes up Highway 441. I won't say an easy drive because you got to go through They just some bust mountains. in today for the game. Hey, why not, right? Bridges off the entry, left wing to right. But these two schools play each other in a lot of sports. Cook starts in, now goes left, parallel to the baseline against Petrakis. The trailer of Dua Rahim, six to shoot. Nice little dipsy do, gets his own miss. Petrakis got a hand on that one. Loose ball, Woolbright, two on two. Woolbright gonna take it in himself. The trailer, Price for three, it's good, and the Catamounts lead. Woo, what a flurry right there. Woolbright, I'll tell you what, he has made play after play so strong, so tough. And every kid I ever recruited at all, Benny, tough as nails. He is showing it tonight. The Benny is being represented in the stake tonight. Aaron Cook, a long three. And that's a big shot for Georgia. Dogs right back on top. Woolbright's asking for a blow, but a great shot by Aaron Cook. Thought he might have been a little far deep right there, but he's feeling it, confident in it, knocked it down. Cook with two huge plays in this second half. Price into the corner. Baycoat with a drive. McCray for three. That's no good. There's a plate. So Georgia with the ball and a two-point lead. And no doubt Aaron Cook with the two big plays of this second half for the Bulldogs. Yeah, you got to hit your veteran step up at the right time. Boy, this is the grinder part of the game where you set yourself up for the home stretch. Abdur Rahim with 11 minutes to go and now 10 to shoot. Bridges guarded by Petrakis. Underneath to right, can't finish. McCray with a rebound. McCray with a drive. Harris, right wing three, no go. Bauman with the board. Cook out in transition. Catamount sprint back. Abdur Rahim asks for it. And Cook will back it around. There's Bauman. One step and a bounce. Good pass to Bridges. Won't go with the left hand. Harris with the rebound. Georgia by two. Catamounts with the ball. McCray. Oh, that one brought some rain. Bauman with the <laughs> rebound. Cook with the crossover. Both teams have cooled off this last minute. So Georgia goes to Bridges and he finishes. Again, he gets the man on his back. He is dangerous down here. 
and get, get him to him quick. Get him early in the possession so the double team can't come. And then he's money down there. That is a sweeping little baby hook shot. So tough to defend. 57-53, Georgia. McCray, Robinson for three on target. There he goes, missing those first two, but you knew it was coming, right? He's too good a player to stay cold all night. And great feed, way to set him up, draw the defenders in here. Jeff, we got us a good one down the stretch here. And for a guy like Robinson, too, you heard the old saying, the ball doesn't lie. When you do all those other things, at some point, shots are going to fall yeah, for absolutely. you. Absolutely. Here's Bauman for three. In and out. McCray to the board. And Western Carolina with a chance to regain the lead. Bay coach. McCray. Back for Bayco. 20 to shoot. McCray three ball. Bang. That was good the second it left his fingertips. Yeah, the one before looked really good, too. Up there, just a little long. But he's confident shooter right there. Again, they shifted that Georgia zone, moved it a little bit, and got the look they wanted. Three catamounts to double figures. Cook to Bridges. Petrakis, and they drop the guard for the double. Christian Wright to give Georgia the lead. Too strong. Rebound tipped out. So Georgia will maintain possession. Let's take a look quickly at this McCray three. Great stroke. Yeah, great setup right there. Really extended the defense. A long closeout right there. No chance to get to him in time. You can just tell McCray from the one he missed before. He just felt good on that one. You can see the body language on him. It's like, oh, I should have gone down. He was ready to shoot when he had the opportunity again. And I want to go back to something we touched on frequently in the first half with Western Carolina was down seven or ten as that ball is tipped out and Georgia will maintain possession. And it felt like Georgia was leading by 12 or 14 and, and it was just a five or a seven point game. And I think Western Carolina, and you said it, they were going to heat up at some point. So they were able to, to hang in there when the three ball wasn't falling. Yeah, three more threes and, and Georgia does not three points. Just kind of closes the gap, gets them the lead. The defense has gotten a little better here. But it was early in the game. Aquindo, only three to shoot. Bauman for Bridges with one. That was when McCray hit that three, I looked over the corner of my eye and I saw every single coach on that sideline with their hands. Get your hands up, get your hands up. And you know, too late. Shouldn't be reminding the guys of that. At this point in the game, they should all be instinctively knowing a team like Western Carolina is going to shoot a lot of threes. Every second you got your hand up, uh, any shooter. Good ball movement here for the Catabout. Petrakis asks for it in the left corner. Oh, high fly and McCray can't quite finish. 50-50 ball to Oquindo. Dangerous in the open floor, and the Tomahawk! Holy smokes, McCray, three, no, five. When you teddy bear at the county fair with that one. That's right. Not even close to the rim. That was awesome. Again, gives him a chance. It's tough to go there and knock down all three of them. Here's Edder going left. Oquindo over to Christian Wright. We'll go ahead and steal Slon's thunder as Wright drives and misses. Small lineup on the floor for Georgia. Yeah, absolutely. And it can be effective. You've got to almost play man to man with it instead of the zone, but it can be effective. Here's Robinson with the jump stop. McCray with a fake. Mr. 13 Care. points already. He's, oh, he's been great off the bench. Both of these teams have got big contributions from the bench. McCray with the drive in. Good pass underneath. Woolbright's had a big night. In traffic, a little bit strong. Yeah, he's like Laz limping off there. He to turn his ankle a little bit. Use that backboard. Original. Right. Both of these teams getting the ball into four courts so quickly, it gives you multiple looks at it and there's a whistle and a foul does the basket count it does Oquindo with the hop so athletic he's got a dozen but slide again when both of these seems to get the ball to four court so quickly you, you get three four five six different looks and there's a great one from Oquindo really is again you got seam in there was Carolina really playing with four guys in defense that time Wilbur just with his ankle he was really hurting Trainer's looking at him right now, see if he can get back in this game or not. He is definitely hurting over there on the bench. Oh, Quindo has been pure at the line, still is seven for seven. That's the first one that's even touched iron. And Price will check in as Trackus will go to the bench. It's Georgia 64, Western Carolina 62. 6.45 to go. Great game here tonight in Athens.
Really small lineup for Georgia. Again, Coach Green preaches about the positionless basketball. This is Liverpool. Proof. Oh, go down to man to man, go back to zone. A wide 2 3. Robinson steps in. Nice feed. Excellent defense for Bauman on the back end. That's a player making a play. Cook with Georgia leading by two. Tom Green switching Reginald and Bauman. Georgia now overloading on that right side. Clear now for Oquindo. He's got the hot hand for the dogs. Oquindo into a double. Cook fakes the pass, only two to shoot. Desperation three won't go. That shot will not count. That's a shot clock violation. Great battle by Edder right there. Again, good defense by Western Carolina. Georgia didn't get much penetration that time. That's a trip, though, for Georgia with the lead, even though the dogs didn't score. You still take 30 off the clock. Not a terrible trip. No. Good defense. Yeah. Didn't foul the shooter. And Edder, great hustle right there, but just, just by air, didn't get it in. So here's McCray. It's been excellent off the bench for the Catamounts. Left side to Bayco. Price. Both of these pitches have been strong. McCray. Bayco steps into the three just a little bit short. Cook with a big board for Georgia. Dogs with the ball up by two. Cook the trailer. Looking to get it to Bridges. He's asking for it. Cook so wants to, but good job by Robinson in the post. Just give you that angle. There's a window stripped. Loose ball. Who wants it? Catamounts have it. George is back defensively. Price to Bayco. Robinson three for the lead. No good. Strong side rebound to Cook for Georgia. Hit the five minute mark. Cook underneath. Bridges. Yes, and a foul. Cook, Cook found him that time, Jeff. He got the angle where you want it. A good post entry pass. Great fishing. Now Georgia couldn't get it to him on the last trip. And a great job there, Slot. That's textbook. Making himself big underneath. That's a McCray right there. He has to go back in the film room. You can tell those guards right there, when you're caught in a bind, you know you're going to foul the guy. Foul him hard enough, not dirty, just hard enough where he can't make the basket. Right there, he just gave him the touch foul instead of fouling him hard. Bridges is going to make him pay right here. Bridges, free throw up and good. So Cook just increasing those statistic totals. Top 10 in the nation in assist. Bridges now with 15 points in the Georgia lead is from three there. Top five of the country in three point field goal attempts. So here's McCray. McCray with 12 points. Drive right side against Cook. The pull up offensive, yes. So McCray with his third foul. Now a big opportunity here for Georgia to make this a three possession game. And as you said, Sly, now you probably under 10 possessions the rest of the way. You could start to make the Catamounts chase a bit here. You really do. Yeah. Georgia's in that bonus too. It makes it a little tough on Western Carolina's defense. Georgia scoring six straight. Western Carolina's missed five straight shots. And there's a dagger from Cario Oquindo. 16 points tonight. Sophomore from Titusville, Florida, with the rocket launch ups, knocks down a huge tray. And McCray breaks a drought for Western Carolina. They've got 15. Yeah, was a big basket right there. It's Lee was slipping away. That they breaks did. a 9-0 Georgia run. That was a good action there. Drew Bridges away from the, the basket there, left the lane open for a drive. McCray read it properly. Bauman for a three. Good. Back-to-back -back threes from Oquindo and Bauman. And Georgia leads by nine. And Western Carolina behind the eight ball a bit now. McCray with a nice fake. Finds Price. Catamounts need this one. Offensively, so tonight he's gotten a couple passing lane, couple long rebounds, taking off with it. Just got him in the flow with the game. The half-court basketball game not really suited for him. Here's Aaron Cook, gets past Robinson, and wow. Petrakis from way underneath. Wow, the hang time there he had to get that off. Holy smokes. That was lower than the toss on a tennis serve. Harris in against Bauman. Wolbright's back. 
Play it hobbled. Price three. He's hit two in a row. Boy, the bench for both of these teams so strong. Well, Price has got a beautiful shot. Man, he's nailed down a couple of big shots in this game. Price with 13. McCray with 15 off the bench for Western Carolina. Original has been terrific with 10 for Georgia. Dur Rahim with nine off the bench. 10 to shoot, two and a half to go. Cook with the drive and a little bit too strong. I think Etter thought Cook was going to shoot it. Yeah, and Etter, again, he's known for making those basket cuts. Right? He makes hard basket cuts. That time he should have just stayed in the corner, waited on the kick out right there. That's one of those aggressive you know, turnovers. Coach, that's right, yeah, those. absolutely. Yeah. Critical time, you don't want it right now, but again, that's one you live with. So here's McCray bouncing. Western Carolina down five. Robinson deep three. That one short. Bridges with a big board and a foul. This is going to be on Petrakis. Georgia in the bonus here. West Carolina is not. They got quite a ways to go. But Ten fouls for the Catamounts. Only three for Georgia. That could also come in strategically where Georgia could foul a couple times. Western needs a couple Absolutely. of threes, yeah. So Bridges at the line for George. He's had another strong night. Free throw is good. Love this from Bridges as well. Coach, he missed his first three free throws, but he has hit six straight since. He really has. You made a little adjustment, just get that little deep bend, get finish up on your toes. Bridges with 16 and six, 17 and six. And he's the constant for these Bulldogs offensively. Here's McCray. Coming up on the two-minute mark. Woolbright hobbled from Albany, Georgia. McCray, 10 to shoot with the drive and the kiss. Beyond McCray with 17. He had 21 against Wake Forest. Georgia feeding Bridges. Now Cook. Bauman fakes the pass. Now drives. Cook with the penetration. Etter fakes the three. The floater is good. That was a great possession for Georgia. It really was. A lot of shot fakes and penetration set it up. And I, I was going to when you're used to playing up tempo, you want to work clock, but sometimes slowing it down can get you out of your game, and that's a good foul for Georgia. Yeah, why that's not? Just on the floor. One to give. Don't let me get all the way to the hole. So as a coach, all right, we, we got the lead. Here's how we've been playing. We want to work clock, but, but, but you don't want to get out of your game. I, I thought Georgia walked that tightrope well on that trip. Yeah, they really did. Everybody gave nice penetration, but not over-penetrate. Set it up. Shot fake. Got distance. Got separation. And Edder was able to get a nice shot fake at the defender off his feet on a bad closeout. Make the little floater. Wolbright in for Price. Patrakis, weak side. McCray is open. Good! Put the paddles on the chest. McCray's got 20, and Western Carolina's only down four. What a game for McCray. Here's Cook to Bauman. Georgia doesn't have to shoot till under one minute. Tom Creed telling his team to work that basketball and work that clock. Got don't have to foul yet either. They can play this one out, try to get a stop. Cook to Oquindo. Yes! <laughs> Cario Oquindo with 19. The Georgia lead is seven. Robinson off the window. Please go have Oquindo. What a huge shot. Got a deep penetration. By Cook, set up the outside. He must have collapsed on it. Huge. He's had two huge threes here. And Western Carolina taking way too long to foul. If they're going to foul, maybe they don't want to foul. Bauman, lead is only five. 24 12. Oh, now don't foul now. You put in, you That's put right. in 19 go. seconds. Yep. That was. Yeah, that was a missed opportunity. They need oh. to stop that clock a lot sooner. Or again, yeah, then, or if you've invested that much time. Then well, let it go, that's right. Yeah. So the clock management did not go Western Carolina's way. And here's Cook at the line for the Bulldogs with 23 seconds to go. And Georgia leading by five. Cook a bit too strong there. And how many times does it look like, well, Georgia's 
put Western Carolina five and a half feet under, but the Catamounts have answered. Big drive, big bucket, big three. Something gets them right back in it. There you go, Cook. That gives Georgia a six-point lead. Cook with the double-double. Western Carolina got a hurry. They need two threes. Price too strong on that one. The rebound out of bounds to Western Carolina. Aaron Cook with 13 points and 11 assists. He had the first basket of the game, a three-point field goal, and maybe the biggest play of this game, a steal and a layup. Robinson's three won't go. Bridges with the rebound, and that's going to do it. And I like this here, Wester. Don't foul at this point. No it's been a too. great game. Go ahead and lose Don't by six. Don't touch it either. Oh, oh, oh. with the window. Oh, that's not right. No, nope. not right. Nope. I don't think Tom Crean nope. liked that. Nope. Uh, Quindo with the That's dunk. Right. That'll put him up over Western 20. And Western Carolina will, will throw, down the throw dunk it. Dunk there you go. Lad Petrakis will yeah. duck that one for the answer. Well done. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. So Petrakis with 11. And that'll do it.